All right, now let's get into this. <coughs> Trump to GOP. Don't touch Medicare, Social Security, and debt ceiling fight. Ex-president has long viewed entitlement reform as a political loser, but his timing now is notable. It is a fucking political loser. And yet corporate politicians, you know, I mean, why would they care about that? Let's be serious. You know, oftentimes it's like you ask, why would they do this? Why wouldn't they do it? <laughs> it's how they fucking make money. Why wouldn't they do it? It's how they got there. You know, obviously that doesn't make it right, but it may, I mean, this is what these people do. Former President Donald Trump issued a warning to Republican lawmakers on Friday. Don't lay a finger on entitlement programs as part of the debt ceiling showdown in the White House. Under no circumstances should Republicans vote to cut a single penny for Medicare or Social Security, Trump said in a video message. The two-minute video, which goes on to lambast President Joe Biden over the migration crisis at the southern border, is part of a series of policy announcements put out by his campaign, and it comes amid growing brinkmanship between congressional Republicans and the White House over raising the nation's debt limit. Republicans have vowed not to raise the federal government's borrowing capacity unless Biden makes steep cuts to federal spending, potentially impacting social insurance programs like Social Security and Medicare. Trump's video is a warning to his fellow party members not to go there. Instead, he suggests targeting foreign aid, cracking down on migration, ending left-wing gender programs from our military, and billions being spent on climate extremism. Cut waste, fraud, and abuse everywhere that we can find it, and there is plenty, there's plenty of it, Trump says. But do not cut the benefits our seniors work for and pay for their entire lives. Say Social Security. Don't destroy it. Well, yeah. And uh, that's one of the reasons why Trump did well in 2016. You know, now obviously he's had a whole administration uh, to show his ass and he is not in a good position to win a general election. Um, he just isn't. But, you know, in terms of him doing anything with a campaign, this is definitely uh, the type of messaging that he should be parroting. And especially, you know, with the anti-LGBTQ stuff, obviously that's fodder and that works for Republicans. So, you know, he's doing, you know, obviously that that's that's he's going about doing his thing. And then again, Ron DeSantis, what's he going to do? You know, what are any of these people going to do? We have yet to see. Oh, yeah. Apparently, Trump's going to uh, be back on uh, Twitter, too. So whenever you knew he wasn't going to stay away from that forever. But at whatever point he gets back on there, he's going to be going ham. And it's likely going to be quite hilarious. I mean, let, let's let's not lie. It's, it's going to be funny as hell. And we're definitely going to be covering it because he is going to be acting like a complete clown. <laughs> 